Let's -a go. Let me just fix this stuff real quick. Yo, what is going on, my Assassination Classroom friends? What is going on? The Ninja Reviewer here, bringing you Assassination Classroom second season, episode 22, double two. Oh my god, yo. Yo. Oh man, things are getting crazy. Oh my god, yo. The hype is fucking real. Oh my god. This week's episode, man. And I also looked up the information on how many episodes we're going to have left. And apparently, we're going to have three more episodes remaining. So it is going to be, instead of not 26 episodes, but it's going to be uh, 25 episodes. So that's actually pretty damn good. So I wouldn't mind that if it's like 25 episodes and I actually built it up. So three more episodes left, you guys. And already, we're going to have this big motherfucking final showdown like... Already, and I'm really excited. Now, a lot of people say, you know, I should do a lot of reaction to episode uh, 23 or whatever, because it does get pretty epic. But um, I don't really know about that. I'm just gonna wait for the for the, the actual grand finale, the very final episode, and that's probably when I'll do a uh, proper live reaction. But until then, I think I'm just gonna just like review the episode as is. But oh man, yo, things are getting so real right now. Let's start exactly from the beginning of this episode. First of all, we have Nagisa and the gang pretty much just like split in their own ways. And they're all being led by the most awesome, furious leader, Karma. And Karma's pretty much given it, um, um, pretty much giving like all the orders to like the students to know that each go, you know, each direction to where some of these, uh, guard soldiers are pretty much at. You know, these soldiers that pretty much guard that entire forest. So, pretty much, you know, they pretty much know the way around because they've been around that same exact area for over quite a year. So, they pretty much know it from the back of their hands. So, that's pretty much easy. Just getting rid of all these, like, scrub lord, you know, assassins. You know, even though, you know, there were scrub lords, it was actually pretty, you know, uh, we have, uh, um, Tarakaka, you know, him, you know, being the, you know, the Naruto idiot, pretty much just, like, going there straight forward. You know, but hey, still pretty cool shit, though. We see Nagisa, you know, and the gang is doing their assassination shit. You know, them being just as sneaky as ever. It's like, oh my god. So, a lot, a lot of awesomeness. Oh my god. The first part of it, though, was actually pretty much really good setup. Even though the people were just, like, scrub lords, it was still pretty cool just to see their, like, put their plan in motion. And even Mr. Karasuma... You know, it's kind of funny that um, Arena pretty much says, like, oh, you know, oh, that's so cute, like a proud papa, which I think that was actually a cute little analogy, you know, when it comes to that. So, when it comes to that part especially, too, so it turns out there was the main leader that's pretty much, you know, guarding the entire base. Like, he's pretty much the leader of all of them, and, you know, it seems like the leader put up a little more tougher of a fight compared to, uh... The other members, this dude was the leader, and he didn't, he actually was no bitch. He actually did put up some, somewhat of a fight anyway. And what happens is, is that, well, you know, they were getting there and etc. You know, you got bam, you know, they outsmarted him and stuff. Like, he, you know, he was pulling his punches, he was pulling his way just to get rid of them, just to actually get a plan of emotional attack. But then once they finally catch him off guard, oh man, finally getting into Kuro Sensei was just awesome. Oh man. Wow, the second part of this episode was the feels. Oh my god. Yo, the feels. The feels in this episode were just... Wow, they hit hard. Like, oh man, did they very hit hard. Especially when it comes to, um... You know, them pretty much finally... Because, you know, Coral Center is pretty much telling them, it's like, look... You know what? With all these special types of satellites that you you know that they actually program, like you know, in order to actually kill me, this whole preparation, these incredible amount of weaponry, these assassination techniques, just to kill me. He says I feel honored. It doesn't really matter. And it's like, look, your efforts weren't put to waste. You know, deep down, you put your skills to the test, and that's something that he's really proud of. You know, deep down, he really feels for the students because, like, you know what? Even though, you know, it doesn't really matter. You infiltrated here. Your skills were not put to waste. Because otherwise, you guys wouldn't be in this situation right now. So, it kind of makes sense. Even though, you know, um, Karasuma was a uh, um, very, you know, not, uh, not Karasuma, but um, um, Takanaka 
or you know him you know the idiot dude was like oh what the hell man like why can't we just tell the media the truth because dude it's the fucking media what do you expect the media are pieces of shit they're not gonna listen to whatever the hell you menling kids have to say so it's pretty obvious is that yeah you guys are pretty much screwed what's the whole point because oh we're not gonna believe you you guys were just oh he's just telling you all this just to feed you all these lies and again just like i said last week it's the same thing like real life they're just gonna find some way just to juice up the story and you know and i don't want to mention no politics here but it's pretty much the same thing on why people in my personal opinion have been hating on bernie sanders but you know that's just my thing again i don't mean to bring that up in my review but you pretty much get what i'm saying pretty much and you guys know what i'm talking about for you hardcore you know democrats out there and all that other shit you guys know what i'm talking about but regardless of this isn't about that so i apologize when i'm bringing that up but again i really do despise the media you know just like him i agree too because the media just pisses me off especially Especially CNN. Oh, good God. Don't even fucking get me started, bitch, on motherfucking CNN. Oh, my God. But anyways, moving on from that, though. So, we apparently, um... Uh, what's her face? I forget her name. The blonde-haired chick, pretty much. You know, the one that's always, like, planning all these schemes, stuff like that. Like, I think her and Karma should hook up. You know, like... Yeah, yeah, I think her and Karma should actually make a very cute couple. Like, I, I would ship them completely because especially the way they seem to be kind of together more as of lately. To be honest with you, I feel like it's more of a shipping thing now. So I really hope that's really the case because that would be really cool. Anyways, though, it turns out that Coral Sensei knew that she was hiding something the entire time from the way she's actually been acting and not to mention, well, not really the acting, but his sense of smell and everything is actually really peculiar. Like, he says that he's been, she's been the one that's actually been the most suspicious of all. And it turns out that she was actually hiding an actual cake for Koro Sensei because it's one year since he blew up the moon. So, she decided to make it a combination of his birthday. And then when they sang happy birthday to him as a class, even though it had that English, I almost cried. Like, shit. Oh, no. Like, and then you see Koro Sensei, like, he's ready to chow down that shit, man. It's like, oh man, that's actually really touching right now. Just the thing that this might be the last birthday they might celebrate with him. And it's like, oh man, like. But then at the very end, that fucking asshole just had to ruin everything. That asshole, yes. The same. I, I forget the dude's name. Uh, 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 that scientist dude. Which, uh, yeah, that dude. That same asshole who was engaged to. The old uh, cl class e uh, class E teacher, you know her, the one that pretty much you know fell in love with Coral Sensei more than him. I don't know why she was engaged to her. I feel so bad for her. I just want to fucking take that dude, grab him by his collar, and just like shank him in the parking lot. Cause dude, I fucking hate that guy. He is such a scumbag. I just mm. all right, but whatever though. So, this motherfucker, but it's not only him, the motherfucking, yo, the motherfucking reaper, let's go, let's go, oh my god, yo, the fucking reaper, man, yo, when I saw this freak of nature of the reaper, oh my god, dude, bro, like, oh my god, like, this dude is Oh man, like it's like if you nerf the Reaper on very monstrous OP steroids. Like, oh my god. But except more uglier than he was when he actually like takes some faces off. Like literally skins of faces and like just fucking take them on and just stick them on like a mask. Like I like, you know, the whole red skull look thing he has a human. That looked really badass and creepy, but it was really cool. But you know, this was actually pretty awesome as well, you know, to see him in this form. So that was actually pretty cool. So overall though, and then it turns out at the very end, Coral Sensei is ready to go in the clash of the motherfucking Mach 20s or Mach 2s, Mach 20s, whatever the fuck. It is going down right now. The end game battle is about to start. And oh man, oh, dude, great. Oh, the ending, man. The ending. Fuck the ending, man. You don't fuck with a cake, man. You don't. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. That fucking birthday cake, man. Because, oh my god, dude. That was my cake. I would have been like, nah. Bang, bang. No, fuck you. I like my birthday cake. 
screw you. I will, I will, I will deck you, like literally. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I am done. That's pretty much it for this episode. Overall, I would give the score from the beginning. You know, it was pretty good. The scene of assassination, good. even though I could have done it down a bit because the dudes are pretty much just like scrubs anyway. At least to me, they were just they were scrubs. They weren't really that hard. To my personal opinion, especially, I really like the whole comedy moments with that too, especially where Karma, you know, stuck like a whole bunch of those like hot sauce thing, like where they're laying on the ground, they just fucking took that shit in their mouths and grabbed. And I like also like they keep like electrocuting them like with the tasers, it's actually pretty funny. Oh, what's this? Are you make electric? Yeah, like it was funny as hell. So overall, yeah, I gotta give it a 5 out of 5. It really does get to show you though how much the students have very grown and how much they can just pretty much use. Because probably a year ago, they probably wouldn't really take on a serious mission like this but after surviving especially the summer vacation stuff definitely we know now these kids are not bullshitting anymore they're actually grown up now and they're actually much more stronger to become more independent assassins so a five out of five episode right there definitely get hyped guys we're just going to um uh hold on so anyways yeah so when it comes to that though um yeah, so that's pretty much it. So 5 out of 5, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this week's episode of Assassination Classroom, second season, episode 22. And as always, I will see you guys for the next session, the next class session for episode 23. Oh, man, we are so close. We are so close to the end of things. And I'm going to be very sad because it's going to be another anime gun. MLP is about to be gone too tomorrow, so that's going to make me even more sad. The last Pony Saturday until... Uh, August, I would say. Maybe August. My best guess is going to be August. That's my best guess. Probably around August. Or they want to pull and just give us blue balls. Probably all the way to blue fucking September. Which would suck. So instead of like two months, it'll be like a three month wait. But whatever though. The season did come out way too early anyway. So it's like, you know what, whatever. A little bit of a breather of a break. You know, I wouldn't mind it. Especially because it's summer, kids. But anyways, moving on. That's, that's coming on topic. So... Peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky is the limit. And I hope you drink your daily deuce of milk, uh, moose milk, bitches. All right, that's it. Signing out. Bye-bye.